Hello everyone, my name is Gatling Giggs, and I'm gonna go off the beaten path and be in game and actually talk about the game a little bit more. Um, this game is all an incredible game as you already know, otherwise why would you be here? And um, the thing about this game is there's a lot of things you can do to make yourself more efficient and a better player. Thing one is take your time, that's tip number one. If you take your time, you make sure that everything comes to you, comes to you from a defensive position where you have tactical superiority and better stability to aim. Number two, make sure you bring enough ammo but not too much. Looting is one of the most important aspects of this video game. If you don't loot properly, you're going to have a hard time equating money for ammunition, repairs, all that stuff. And uh, it's very important. Another thing is, try to loot smaller items such as grenades, med kits, and all that good stuff. The small little knickknacks really add up and you can carry more of them. Um, the more items you can carry is determined by your weight over here. And uh, as you can see, I have almost reach carrying capacity but different armor attachments can ratify that so you're a more efficient person and can carry more per trip thus increasing the amount of money you need for uh, your expenditure of going out on the trip another rule is is always survey an area first another thing that kind of coincides with patience also i would suggest toggling your crouch key in settings oh, sorry in settings toggling your crouch key go to options Go to game, go to crouch stand mode, and check it. This is really helpful because you, you, it frees up your hand so you can lean and do stuff like that. And that brings us to our next point, lean in. Lean in is a very important aspect of this game. Unfortunately, you cannot toggle lean like in Rainbow Six, which would be a huge help so I can keep, you know, just tap it once and be able to do this. If there's a way to do that, please let me know. I am very, very interested in learning how to do that. So another thing too about this game is always keep an eye on where you're at and make sure you're at a place to escape an emission. Being in an emission is horrible and nobody, everyone's been there and no one wants to be there. And the only way to fix that emission problem is to either have an antibiotic on you to neutralize it. And that brings us on to another portion. Make sure you go with these suits. You know why? Yeah, armor is good and whatnot, but these suits keep you lighter. You can loot more. You have, uh, look at look at all the protection down here. I wish I could use the arrow to point at it. But right there, rad protection, side protection. Look how much protection I have, almost full protection. And that that's great because you're gonna be using these artifacts to make you a better player as well. Which brings us to our next point, artifacts. Make sure you use the right artifacts with each other. I personally go for artifacts to make me carry more. And then I use two jellyfishes, and then once I open these up, I'll have two more slots. Don't don't let yourself become irradiated. I'm pretty much immune to radiation as is, so these jellyfishes just help aid in that. And make just make sure you know you have the right things. And you can also carry one in your inventory over here in case you want to switch effects, such as if you're going to hit an electrical storm. Well, why not just put on an electrical one? They're relatively light, and uh, as you can see, and it's really really cool. All right, so moving on with the video. Another thing too is always keep an eye out and make sure your Velocity Protector is your best friend, especially the advanced one you get. You get the advanced one from talking to Owl and doing a side quest with Owl and between the science bunkers uh, mechanic and he will help you uh, make this detector and once you do a quest with the scientist, it will become available free. Uh, very important because it shows you where pockets of radiation are and pockets of stuff is that can really hurt you. Another thing too is make sure your guns are always maintained before you leave, you're going to be coming back and forth and looting anyways, therefore you might as well just utilize your time and your money to make sure your current arms are in a working and fair state. Um, not doing this can leave you in the shit. I, my guns never jam, why? Because I always keep them uh, Gucci. Another thing too is don't forget you can always, especially with the Arsenal Overhaul mod, you can always use your tool to quick, to quick take off your scope. And that's good because sometimes you need iron sights. So I'm not going to save the game, I'm just going to engage these guys and start some shit real quick. Oh, they're damaged anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, cheeky breaky. That cheeky breaky. See, now if I had this out, I would have been fine. And this thing helps you navigate through the bullshit. But I'm gonna die. Thank you. Another thing now brings us to our next point hot keys. That was a hot situation. Now I need even hotter keys. Hot keys are important. You set up your hot keys. You can drag any kind of item that is equitable. Even the scopes you can drag in your hot key. I wish you could drag a pistol in your hot key so you can take it out in a situation. Um, 
and that's pretty much it there's more stuff to this game such as loot you know with the looting and being able to do your quest efficiently get to know the map get to know your maps get to see where the stashes are make sure you try to get as many quests before you leave home base because if you don't there's no fast travel you want to maximize your game and efficiency um and that's pretty much it folks i'm really appreciative you came back to my channel i love doing these videos i'm glad i have an audience that appreciates the work i'm doing and um i just want to help you all have a better time because especially with the freaking misery mod we all know how horrible this game can be to you this is one of the most unforgiving and unrelenting games i've ever played it does not pamper its players it really it really knows how to challenge its players of make the game enjoyable such as adding dynamics as of right now i need to eat in order to survive otherwise my stamina is going to be inhibited well for back in the day that's pretty damn impressive i have no food therefore i'm going to suffer a, suffer a uh, stamina penalty and it's just the way things work is awesome so to end the video i know i'm an idiot and i'm not going to save so it's not a problem hold on love that asian case slap back i'm gonna ambush these guys right here and see what's good The sound suppressor just makes you deadly. Oh, one thing about the Arsenal Overhaul mod I didn't tell you. Yes, it does. It totally rewrites the character combat animations and fixes up those wall shooting glitches. That's something that the dude added in just as a, a, a complimentary thing. And these characters behave much smarter. Their weapons do more damage. And it's, it's overall a harder game. Like, for instance, this dude's getting shot. He's kind of stupid. But these characters move more than Okay, I'm bleeding out my head. I need to heal up. Okay, moving in. Close quarters. Oh, look at this. <coughs> Gotta take the P90. Where'd it go? Yes. No! Let's see. Sick, nasty. Alright, people, thank you for watching. I'm glad I could do this with you. And as always, thank you and goodbye.